I'm Catherine McNeely and I come from part of Brit Dermarnock and part of Bridgeton. Well, so it's very interesting you say that because lots of people don't know where Bridgeton starts and Dermarnock stops. And all that. Can you explain all that to us? Right, well, that's a hard one because when I look on my phone to check my weather forecast or anything like that, I'll come up to Marnock and I go, no, because the man that stops at the, the the train station after that is Bridgeton. <laughs> so um, I'm hoping that I'm right that um, it's start at the Marnock ends at the Bridgeton, the Demarnock uh, railway station, and for there on it's we're into Bridgeton. Yeah, well, there are two railway stations after yes. all. But uh, people often talk about British and Dalmana, as mm -hmm. if it was one place. Mm, no, yeah. no. Um, but are they? W w you've lived, I think, all your life in this area. Yes. Were they? Were they obvious rivals? Was there kind of any tension between the two places? Oh yes, definitely. Uh, it was, definitely. And was that to do with um, religion, or was it the football, or what? No, I think it was more like that's my. This is my part of the city, and that's your part of the city, and don't cross this part of the city, otherwise you'll be crossing us. Were there gangs when you were little? Oh yes, definitely. And was that difficult? I mean, I, 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 didn't, I didn't live here in those days, but I mean, was it um, unpleasant? It just, if you just stay out the way of them when they're fighting, I mean, they just fight for any kind of reason, like football, uh, you, you shouldn't be in my side of the city and you no know, whatever, um, or just anybody saying boo, you're the wrong person. Exactly, you know, that that means it's a, it's a fight, yeah. <laughs> you know. And was it, did people get badly hurt or was it more just fisticuffs and... No, just fisticuffs. It's not as bad as what it is nowadays. Oh, um, right. No. Yeah, it was just more a, a kick and a punch. There was never any weapons. No. And that was mostly the boys, was it? Not the girls? Or were the girls involved I would say well? mostly the boys. I mean, now it's boys and girls, but... Um, I'll be back in the days, it was one of the boys. You, you look as like you could throw a solid punch, Cathy. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so what do you remember about growing up? What do you remember about your neighbours and friends? And so, what was it? What was it like back then when you were little? When I was, I when I was little, I lived in Martin Street, and um, all the neighbours came out in the summertime, sat in the back with all their babies, their younger ones and whatever, and when we were all playing, skipping ropes, rounders, kick the can and whatever, some of the, the mothers, younger mothers, would actually join in with us, which was great fun. And um, uh, the babies would be in the prams and we would push the prams with the babies up and down the back courts and that, so we, we did. Good fun. But I found they, those days were the good days. Those were the good days, were yes, they? Yes, they were yeah. the good days for And me. what about your mum and dad and, and your grandparents? Were they all nearby? Um, well, my granddad stayed in Megan Street um, when I was a wee girl, but he passed away when I was about seven or eight. So he did. Um, uh, my granny, I don't only know by photos. I don't think, you know, um, uh, I, I, never, I don't remember seeing my granny, but I do remember seeing my grandpa. And do, you know, my, do you know what they used to do for work back in, the, the, in that generation? Oh, no, I don't, don't remember. No, no, I don't remember. No, never no. mind. No, well, tell me about your mum and pa, though, mum and dad. Well, my dad died when I was only two oh. um, of a brain hemorrhage. Oh, gosh. Um, so um, I don't only remember them by photos, mm. but um, my mum, she worked in Bath's Ginger Works when, before she had me, um, and then after she had me, she 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 never kind of worked. She had to look after you. Me because yeah, there was yeah, nobody yeah. else, yeah. but my my dad had been going, um, but. She talks a lot about. She she did talk a lot about working in the bars. Uh, did she? Yeah. Tell us tell us what she used to she, tell she you. She used to say about um, how the the labels the, the labels were printed and 
the, the kind of deciding the colour and whatever, they would make, try to make it look good and all that kind of thing. The shape of the bottles, what, what, what kind of shape of the bottles they were going to do? Well, well, in those days it was glass bottles, you know, but they had to kind of watch that they didn't do the same sort of a style as other companies. It was like Dun & Muir when Dun & Muir was on um, London Road. Um, so they would have their type of labels and iron brew, but um, she always used to talk about they had a secret recipe for that and they wouldn't tell anybody what the secret recipe was. It was in the iron brew. Um, so um, I said, I thought, well, does anybody know now after all these years? You know what I mean? I don't think anybody does do that. No. I think it's really quite a seriously guarded secret. Secret, uh, yes. You know, locked away and, and all that kind of thing. Very interesting, yeah. Mm. And no doubt you would collect the bottles and take them back for a, yes. uh, a penny or whatever you yeah, used to, what did you used to get? Well, I probably was a bit of a penny or something. Uh -huh, these uh -huh. days. We used to take them in and to the, the, we had a, a wee new next door. So I would go in there and I could get my penny sweeties for going to school in the morning so I could. Mm. So what was school like? It was great. It was great. Um, I was a bit of a kind of shy and them put a kind of side pe person. I wasn't great at mixing. I think more, mostly because I was always with my mum and I didn't know what it was to mix apart from my cousins and things yeah. like that, but I didn't want to mix with sure, other people. Sure. But um, just nearer, before I went to Riverside Secondary School, um, a, a new girl started in my class, and I got to know her, and I just let myself go with her, so I did. Um, my auntie had stayed up the stairs for us, she had a caravan down in Irvine, so we would come home for school and my auntie would watch for the two years coming walking by and she would say, Marie, get back home, pack a bag, we're going down to the caravan for the weekend, seeing how it's nice. And I would go, yes, good. And we used to go down the, the waterfront and we'd, go and we'd have a swim in the water and whatever. Tremendous, so yeah. That, so we, that, did, you, did you go on the train? Yes, train. yes. Well, Many a times we would uh... be travelling on the train and my auntie would begin to do her bag and say, oops a daisy, no key for the caravan, we'll need to go in through the skylight. <laughs> 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 so back then, uh, the, the, the whole area must still have been pretty busy with uh, factories and industry and yeah, so on. Yeah, there was the Meikle Forge Johns. Was Meikle Johns and yeah. Beardmore was still going. So? Beardmore's the forge. I don't know where the shopping centre is now. No, no. okay. Well, sorry, I don't, re I don't remember that canal. Don't Talk me about Meikle Johns then. Um, I think it was um, my auntie made pajamas. So they made um, pajamas and kind of other th other things, and um, she would come home sometimes with a pair from my uncle and say, "Right, that's a pair of pajamas for you." That was an extra pair that was in the, the, the account, so I bought them for you. <laughs> and you, your school, you said it was the Riverside, was the name of the school? That was my secondary school. My primary school was Strathclyde Primary School, right. down at the Clyde side. So, yes, I was going to ask you about the river and kind of what you thought about the river in those days. Well, sometimes when we were on our lunch break, after we had our lunch, we used to go down on, on to the river bank and walk along the footpath and just watch for time for getting back into school when the bell rang. And was it busy down there? Yeah, there was quite a lot of people walking along and the, a lot of the school kids was there as well. We are throwing stones into the river to see how far we could get the stones. Fishing? Were anybody fishing? Um, I'm not, I don't think I more, that. that's more at the, the fishing was more done up at the bridge. So we were sort of in between the two bridges the school so this is the railway bridge and the no the bridge um as you're just crossing to go over to Rolligan. oh right i think they all they can uh, oh sorry they all uh, um fished there or they fished further up so they did 
No, down near the football pitches and that. Done a lot of the fishing down there. Yeah, and and did you? So was the path now along the river is all kind of made up and tarmacked. What was it like then? Was oh, it, it was all rubble and was stones muddy and, and muck. So muck. it was quite rough. Uh huh. It was rough. It wasn't a smooth yeah. path. Did anybody ever sort of go for a paddle? Oh yeah, a few people. It was brave would do it. <laughs> <laughs> Was it how was it I, I was it dirty the the river in those days? Has it has it got cleaner? Um I wouldn't say there's as much um kinda like rubbish and things like that. I mean nowadays you, you find cars and all bits of cars and all that in it. And bombs. <laughs> A few times we've we've had that. But um uh, no I wouldn't say it was really dirty dirty. No, compared to nowadays. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, great. Well, I think that's everything. Unless you've got any great stories to tell us, I think well, that's, that's, that's terrific. And, um, I mean, just one final question. Are things, there's been a lot of changes, even quite recently. Do you yeah. think things are getting better, getting worse, staying the same, just different? What do you think? I would say it's quite nice now to see that they're building more tenement kind of type, type, type buildings now rather than back and front doors, high, you know, kind of high flats. It's nice to see the ones that's getting built all round about the Clyde side, you know. I know some of them are back and front doors and some of them are tenements. But, I mean, it's really nice to see that type of building again. Because you, you think the tenements brought people together, don't you? Living on the same yes. stair. Yeah, yes, definitely. I think if you, you, in the, well, my school days, it was really... Everybody, all the neighbours had kids all down in the back, playing, all the kids playing, the mums sitting on their, their chairs having their cigarette, their drink of water and their drink of iron brew or whatever they're doing, so they wanted to drink in their days. So it kind of almost made the community happen almost automatically? It was, yeah, it was more like a, a kind of family kind of thing. You weren't just a neighbour, you were... Like a family member because you were you're going in and out one another's houses as well, you know. Smashing. That's great, actually. Okay. That's-